Uh, guys, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Sorry, you know, it's lunch time. Huh? And uh, the enzymes in our stomachs, they usually sense uh, that uh, we are supposed to be swallowing something, but today is like we are not going to do something about that. So they'll have to go on strike. So welcome to my channel. It's a lovely, lovely, bright, sunny day on a Sunday that I'm coming live from Nyamwini at Baba God's Phrase Place. For those who are new in my channel, please a humble request that please consider by subscribing to my YouTube channel, pushing your guide to 5,000 plus. And uh, you can also check me in my Instagram, that is Zach Discoveries. So it's a lovely day, as I am saying. We have one of the closest guests. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what's up, guys? Welcome to Zach Discovery's YouTube channel. Yes. Uh, today I've been uh, uh, lucky. I'm lucky today I've reached at uh, Baba Godfrey's place. Uh? Yeah. I've been just watching it on the videos uh, uh, to Zach. But today I decided at least because since it is a weekend and uh, we are not somehow really busy, yeah. at least we take this opportunity before we head to orphanage. We come uh, and uh, visit this place. Yeah. Because Zach has a, an important task he wants to uh, to run here. So just continue supporting him. And for those people who have been uh, donating at uh, mm -hmm. Baba Godfrey, may God bless you because uh, this kind of the life that I've uh, seen here, I've normally just seen in the video, but today I've come to see it physically. And uh, I say may God bless you all who are participating in this contribution and all everything that are happening in this compound. Yeah. Thank you very much. Amen. Yeah. That's my so today I'm privileged, eh? yeah, for him to visit this site for the first time since I started this project. So thank you so much, fellow. Uh, unfortunately, today we don't have those children around. Eh? As the dad has said, is that uh, they have gone to they church. Gone to church. Oh, to church. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, so you'd have seen Godfrey, the one you we call Godfrey. You'd have seen Lydia. You'd have seen uh, Chebet. Okay, they have a firstborn a son that is living with their grandmother. Oh, the yeah. mother to the oh, wife, yeah. to the wife, yeah. late wife side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he has not come yet. So, in fact, I've never seen him also. Yeah. So, we use Godfrey because Godfrey is the, the child that made to know this compound. Yes. Yes, yeah, so you're welcome. Thank you very much. Now, maybe <laughs> we, I can take you around, you see what is here. Yeah. So, that, um, so this is the Baba Godfrey. Yeah. And it was. Patrick. Patrick. Sinsiga. Yeah. Patrick Sinsiga. Yeah. He's a guy who's blessed with talents. You see, yeah. he's making, uh, he's a cobbler. Oh, yeah. Uh, watu nashona wa kupea pesa? Mm. Oh. Mm. Ukiu hapa hindi okazi unafanya pia? Hindi okazi unafanya. Ah, yeah. kama ujeenda shamba. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm learning this for the first time that this guy can also make shoes. Huh? So, this is the father. Okay. The man that uh, has been taking care of the children yeah. after the late wife. So you have said how many are there? Uh, there are four. He has oh, four, children, four children, but one is living with the one is living with the grandmother. Yeah, the mother-in-law. Oh, the mother-in-law, yeah. Yeah, the mother-in-law. Oh. So, Patrick, who you say is your boss? We took your kid to the end. We never come back to go at that. Who you say is your mother? So, who you say is your boss? We took your kid to the end. We never come back to go at that. Yes, mm. and it was fellow the boy, yeah. Eh, so ni memwambia bwana kuji wende uone bwana usio unasikia anaenda kwa Godfrey. Eh hujui ni wapi? Kuji wende uone chenye kinafanya. Leo at least nimefika na nashukuru. Eh na naona hiyo shughuli ni nafanya. Ni nzuri. Bora tu kipato kidogo. Najua haya maisha ya Mungu na najua maisha ya mtu. Lakini itafika siku pia jambo litafanyika. Miujiza ipo inafanyika. Sawa sawa. Acha tuombe atiki. Akispotiki leo tutaachana na hii nyumba basi. Achana na hii mazuri. Yanaishia hapo leo. So guys uh, Baba Godfrey is uh, trying to so he has said that some people have neighbors have brought him some shoes for him to repair yes. and they will pay him. Sasa kimoja ni shirini. Kimoja. Kama hapo umeonesha. Hapa ni shirini. Shirini. Mm. So one side like the one he's making here that is 20 shirini. Ukitoka hapo uende huko shirini. Hapa. Hapa mm. si shoni. Oh, I kiletu shono hapo ni ngapi? Hapa ni 20. Sasa tuseme unamfanyia kama mtaeje unaishona na 50 yote. Yeah. All right. Sawa sawa. So acha nionyeshe bosi ni nini tumefanya. Uh, so fellow this is the compound. Yes. By the way the way you are seeing it. Eh? Yeah. From that tree this way. Yeah. From that the way the bananas to that napier grass. Uh, round. Like 50 by 50. Yes. 
So uh, when I asked him why he's having a small land, because this is in the village, yeah. he said this is the grave to the wife. But this one, yeah, that the is grass, you see. Yeah. Yes, that's why it's not even plowed. Yeah. So this is where they bury the, the, the wife. Yes. Now he said then that this wife, before she died, she got sick. And so she had nothing to... to she sold to a part of her. the land. Yeah. And another part of the land she rented. The one she rented is this part that is having some maize. I think from there, from this grass as you are saying, not in the Napier, this grass. Uh, this is his piece that he has now left. I think the one of toward the Napier grass he sold. That is what he said. So he rented this land for some years. So it's ending this season. You remember what, what the, the story we had at Mama Fred? For some years. Yes, because the wife now, I think the wife has uh, is, has lied here for two years now, almost two years. So for those seasons, he rented it out so that she, he could get money yeah. to treat the wife. Yeah. And also I got that uh, story that he also, after the wife now fell sick, died, he also fell sick. Mm. So he rented the land, now it is ending this season. Yes. So when this maize is removed, is reharvested, he's now, now, he now he get, he get back the land. Yeah, so this is our grave. So this is the house that they, they have been living for those years. Yes, because uh, when when I got a budget, uh, some shopping to come and visit Godfrey at their home, yeah. this is where Godfrey brought me. Because uh, in fact, the teachers told me that that boy, that those children even sometimes go home, they don't get anything to eat, so they come back. So I so was curious. Yeah? I was curious to come and know where they come from. And thank God that we're having good viewers. Someone sent money. I came here now with Godfrey to know. Now, this is where, in fact, there's a video that Godfrey stood at that door and I took him a photo. And it acted as my thumbnail. Eh? This is the house. So there are three children, two girls with one son, yeah. plus their dad sleeping there. In the, in the one house. In one house. And the, the, you can see then some of the posts. They're already rotten. Eh? rotten already. Yeah, they have already They're rotten. rotten by the termite. Mm -hmm. And have the holes. Now, I, that the house, this house is very, is uh, dangerous to stay inside. Yeah, it can fall in time. Yeah, any time. Okay, some, some people are proposing that we repair it. I don't know whether it can be repaired. Yeah, this one uh, need to be demolished. This one, uh, okay. According to me, uh -huh. okay, you know I'm a Mason, uh -huh. and according to what I'm saying, you cannot demolish something that has a post that has been broken. You cannot repair it. You can't. How can you? Because uh, if you repair, <laughs> let us say that you plaster, you mold it, then you plaster. That means that you have molded something that has a gap inside. Yeah. Inside. So when it comes to happen that it has rained again, yeah, it will fall and uh, the termites will still affect this. Place. It's true. It's this true. one, the maybe how the the way you can just do is just to it it be like a, I don't know if the according to the culture they they are, they are allowed to demolish it. Yeah, they can they because can when you are move you want to rebuild your home, you demolish. It, I think it? they will demolish it so that. Uh, uh, next time, yeah. the subscribe, Maraba. Maraba. subscribers can maybe uh, say that uh, now let us let, let the house that was built right now currently to be used as the children' house, uh, mm. and then later uh, they demolish this one, they come and construct your house for Baba All right. Yeah, I think well. that's the what I can advise. So that means again, they all of them to move to that house. Yeah, they'll have to do that. What if you remove this, the whole of this mud, eh? The whole of this mud. So this, these trees that have already been worn out like this, when we remove them, we replace with a fresh one so that we don't tamper with the roof. That's it. be like building another house. Oh, the roof, how? So you want this roof to be just... Okay. To you, see, you see, not all trees are like this. Eh? Yeah. We have those ones that are still intact. We remove these trees. We remove the... Like this one, we remove, we replace with a new one. Those ones that are already worn out, like those one near the door there, we remove them. We replace. The one that is okay, we don't remove. For them to remove, they'll have to remove this one part, this part first. Huh? Oh, for this the tree? The roofing part, this one. Oh, it has to be removed for a tree to yeah, be replaced. You cannot, you cannot remove this one. What, what, what is going to hold this one? Because, you ah. know, this tree is the one that has holded, it has, uh, it has hold uh, around uh, three, three trees. Eh? Ah. Three timbers, I mean. We have this timber that has came from that side. Mm -hmm. We have this timber that came from this side. Do you have we also one? nailed it uh, to this one. We have this one, is lying to this one. Because this one is being supported with this one. Yeah, the same way. So, if you want to remove this one, you'll have to to remove first. You you see on how you can do. You remove this all of it. The upper part. Yeah. Then that's why I'm telling it will be like constructing another house. All right. Yeah. All right. 
All right, guys, that's from the Mason engineer himself. Yeah. That is it, by the way. So, the inside part, yeah, you can beep inside, maybe. Oh, so, this is the. Now, this is the house. Yeah, inside now. This is the house now. Mm -hmm. So, the iron sheet we bought were 11. This is one that remained because it has to be used to make a gut. Yeah. Yeah, so when it remained, it's here. Now, this is where these children now can sit as a living room. They cook here. They cook here. Then they eat here, then they sleep inside there. Okay, I've never gone there because I'm not allowed to do that. All of them, they sleep there. All of them, they sleep there. That's what they told me. All of them sleep there. So meaning either others sleep down. And I don't know even whether they have a bed inside there because I've never asked. So I think maybe after the completion of that house. Yeah, we'll know. We'll know. Uh, we shall know. But we know subscribers will have to to help maybe to get even if it is one bed. Mm -hmm. bed maybe a bank bed. And some mattress. Mm -hmm. It will be nice and well and good. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the house. Maybe now we can go to the project that uh, our subscribers have decided to start. Huh? Yeah. yeah, so this this that this house has uh, as I was saying yeah. has consumed ten iron sheets. Ten. Oh, ten iron sheets. Ten iron sheets. Yeah. Okay, others are still proposing that we add a window to this house. Uh, a window. A window. So the back or that the I don't know. Uh, now the back, I tried to explain to them that at the back it is a bit risky. Mm -hmm. Because here in our area we have stealing. Isn't it? So sometimes you'll find Baba Godfrey has gone maybe to look for a, a manual job. Yeah. The children have gone to the shamba yeah. or they have gone to school. Yeah. So having a window at the back will be a bit tricky. Because someone can easily pass through the behind the part. Okay, more are still proposing because of the light. I don't know what do you think now as a mason that you went to school because of this. Do you think this 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 structure is big enough to accommodate two windows? Okay, um, if it could be having like a petition, mm -hmm. uh, although I'm not saying that uh, they are wrong, but uh, according to me, if I could be me, mm. uh, since we have the door, yeah, here, and uh, it will be we open it at night time, and we have the window, yeah, we have the vent. This, this exactly. One. Very nice. This one the best. Very enough. For uh, for allowance of the fresh air inside yeah. and also light. So I think this one is enough. Uh, and uh, because you cannot be able, the way you have intent at the back to put the winter, putting your winter also will make this place so to be weak. Weak. Mm, weak. Remember, this part is, uh, is, is long. Mm. The, the, the length. So. So anyway, about the window, that is, I think uh, we, we just do with the one. The reason also why I'm thinking for it to be one, eh? if it could be having a wall here, partition. yes, that partition, especially the, the solid wall, we could need one window to the bedroom side and one window also plus the door to the sitting area. So because this is just one room, now if you're going to partition, you shall only use the curtains. Mm -hmm. So air will be flowing in this the entire room. Really. So that is it. So I think one window is enough. One window is okay. That is was my idea. One window was enough for this. Eh? Yeah. So do you think the the fundies did good work? Yeah, they do. This is the first molding. Yeah. This is the first molding. Uh, in fact. Uh, no, about or in terms of construction. Yeah. Uh, it is standard. Eh? It is. Standard. It's standard. Eh? It is okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, according to our seen the way they constructed it. Eh? That's one two. Uh, the molding also it is okay because uh, uh, when you stand here you find mm. that uh, they will have to remold again yeah they remold again uh, it is it is it is straight yeah yeah it is straight that means that uh, yeah, these are, I don't know these are not the rafters mm. uh, the rafters that was used here uh, they are straight mm -hmm. so it will be easier uh, the time of plaster yeah we are not going to consume a lot of uh, of soil uh, sand uh, and, and cement. Uh, so oh, it is okay, the work is okay, so they will just maybe to give it some days, then they remold it again for three times. I think three times, then they can be able to plaster. All right. Guys, that is the boss recommending eh? mm -hmm. the work that was done. Now, I think uh, what, what my idea was, eh? you see now these children at least will have maybe a, a space that they can sit with a table yeah. and some chairs they can read. Now we shall partition. So one side will be used as, you see just like Elijah's room, 
Although these are a bit Just bigger. Cut, that is, these are a bit bigger. Yeah. I think one iron sheet. Yeah, this one is bigger, little mm. bigger. Mm. So they can just put a curtain here, and they'll have a, re a living area here, or a reading area. Yeah. Then they'll have maybe a bunk bed here because they're still young. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So you were explaining something. Yeah. So I was saying that, uh, uh, I don't know what, 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 what was the, what was the, the one that uh, we are, it is at Mama Felicitas for Elijah. Mm. This one is somehow only bigger. Mm. So according to your, how you are planning to petition it, uh, it will be just okay. Mm. It will be okay. Uh, so they'll have to, you'll have to petition according to the size maybe of the bed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Here they can, you know, the advantage of this house, they can put even a bunk bed. They yeah. Can, they can dig. Mm. They will go deeper than this. Eh? Yeah. Because the second round, I want them now to make sure the, all this weight is removed. Yeah. So that when they are doing the second molding, they start from lower. Yeah. Yeah, so that we have at least a, a higher... Oh, higher yeah, roofing, so that the roofing is a bit high. You know, a bunker bed, when I'm standing like this, it reaches me somewhere here, the shoulder here. Yeah. So it means we still have some space. And this, uh, this nails, maybe it's... Yeah, the nails, uh, okay, I don't know whether we shall do the, the ceiling. Eh? No, I'm talking about this, uh, this one. This one is dangerous for a child. They are sharp. Uh, yes, maybe yeah. when the, uh, the carpenter will come or the anybody, mm. we'll just use the hammer. What will happen, that will happen maybe when you don't seal eh? We don't do this the ceiling. But uh, here, ceiling board in this house, it will be down. Yeah? It will be down. Eh? Uh, it so you just down. do it the normal way. Yeah, it will be down. It will be having a lot of the... Uh, it will somehow be hot. All right. All right. Because you know the advantage with these are iron sheets. Mm -hmm. The dooms are... They, they don't uh, pass heat. Yeah, they don't pass it's heat. It's true. They don't pass heat. So... Okay, we'll see how the steps will be set, but uh, ceiling board, I don't All think... Right. Yeah. So anyway, it has been molded for the first round. Mm -hmm. This is done. So I told them that uh, because he finished molding it on uh, Friday. Yeah. So I told him that if you finish today on Friday, then Saturday it uh, start drying up. And on Sunday, if it's possible now, they can repeat now the second round from the inside or the outside. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if you finish now, if you have also more money, because someone also sent me more money yesterday, yeah. 5000 for this project. Yeah. By then, the door and the window, they're ready. They have already been uh, 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 welded. More, yeah. Yeah, so what I was saying, the door and the window, they're already done. Okay. So uh, I think tomorrow I'll be coming with them, we fix. Yes. Oh, they're the metal ones. Them, yeah, they're the metal, metal ones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I already I came with the, that guy. Yeah. He took the measurement. Yes. He went, he, yesterday he was telling me they're ready. Only that the two days on Sunday. Oh, so you'll have to pick it tomorrow. Tomorrow plus the guy who will fix them, we come, they fix. Yeah. Yeah, then we talk again about the contract of remolding the second round. Because you see now this time they do it inside and the outside. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So dim, this is Domu, Domu guy. This is Domu Zaz iron sheet. They do, the, uh, the, 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 expect the most ordinary expensive mabachi. Yeah, they don't pass it. Yeah, this one is very expensive. Mm. Yeah, so fellow, that is it. Wow. So let's finish the first this. You know, this, the, because I talked about this house, uh -huh. let's finish first what we have at hand. Yeah. Then from there now we shall know what to do. But I, I'm thanking so, God because these people have decided to help this family. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy about the work that you're doing because uh, this is your first project. Eh? My first construction okay. project. So you are lucky you've started the project with a... With a, a do, do they have a toilet? Let me show you the toilet because okay, that, okay let us finish this one first. That is, <laughs> you, are, you are lucky you have started our project, uh, the first project, and you have uh, controlled it very well. Thank you. Now, where you have come from is far, where you are heading is not far. Because, it's not far. Uh, eh? you know, it's something that, as long as the house has already been constructed, has already been roofed, mm. that means that uh, uh, this is somebody who knows the uh, management. Thank you management very much. Of the funds. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, I think uh, the money I have, we shall be able to get uh, some cement. Mm. And I was thinking, I don't know, I was thinking about that, uh, bringing some sand. Do they have, where, where is the road? Is the road, okay, the road is supposed to be here, where we passed. Eh? But the person that now rented this land is a bit greedy, that he even plowed even the road. No, but you must, at least, uh, you must uh, be, be talk, they have to talk to him, mm. so that at least uh, when the pickup come, it can be able to okay, access. Can be, okay, there's, there's no way, I think this is the only way that can access. So maybe okay, these people don't have even a bohol. They don't even have a 
the, the toilet, there's a time that JBN and uh, Maureen J2 came here. They were shocked. Because what you are saying there, that they were having banana leaves. I have shown my viewers in one of my videos. It's just a hole. Eh? A hole. And they have two trees across. So which is very dangerous. So trees like this that children can stand on this and this and they defecate. So it's very dangerous. So in fact others were proposing that after this house, we immediately go to the toilet. They will lay tip pit latrine and the bowl. Which was I think the best thing. Let me hope the toilet there at least if we can be able to construct the the brick one. The the strong one. Yeah. yeah. That would be very best. That would at be very good. At least we make them the way we normally do others. Yeah. Thank you. So I think now what we do, the things that I was sent, someone sent money and said they used 2000 to purchase them some shopping. So that's what we have in the motorbike. I want to just give them, then we go. Okay, thank so you. thank you so much, fellow. Wow. Thank, thank you. you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Baba fellow. Yeah. Baba Godfrey. Yeah. Baba fellow. Eh, kuna mutu ali sema ni kulete kitu wapu. Sawa? Yeah. yeah, so kuna mutu ali sema ni kufanyeka shopping. Ni kwa ntaka warembo wangu wa kwea panagodi. So you receive them, huh? What are you doing? 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 What are Yeah, guys, so let me remove them from the motorbike. This is a shopping that um, one of my good viewers sent here. Yeah. Uh, this, this is a shopping for 2000 yeah. Shopping for 2000 That was sent for them. So I had to buy some bread, I had to buy some baking flour, I had to buy some salt, some sugar, some milk, a bar of soap, because these children need to wash their clothes. Yeah, you can maybe carry that. Ah, yeah, mpe tu angalia lafu sasa. So angalia bana ni vitu gani baba Godfrey. Leo sasa upeleke ndai. So we have some milk there. Na mikate, si ndio? Mm. Hiyo ni hiyo, na hii. Yeah, some sugar, ungangano. Oh, yeah. ungangano. Kuna sabuni mahali. Kuna There also some tea leaves. Big tea leaves. Big tea leaves. Na kuna sabuni. sabuni. Yeah, there's above soap. Sao, sao? Ah, ya huyo mtu na muambia aja kwa sabu wana kusikia. Huyo ni mtu wana sikia kiswahili. Huyo ni mtu wana sikia kiswahili. Muambia asante sana. All right. Sao, peleka andani. Peleka andani. So, thank you guys. Really appreciated. For everything that you have done to him to this far thank you so much for the people that are standing to with us to help in construction of this structure and you, we pray that god will give us guidance and uh, to give us good health and life so that we can complete what we started thank you so much i'm just praying that god will increase your source to bless you more so that you can bless many people in the world and to give you good, give you good health so from Zach Discovery, maybe bye bye. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> Thank God you. Bless you. Amen. Wow. Amen. Myself. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you next time.